And today we really want to talk about the ebbs and flows of your online business. You know, and if you're having a bad day, that's okay. Because we all have good days. We all have bad days. Bad days don't last forever. But a lot of times as entrepreneurs, online entrepreneurs, you know, we have one bad day and we quit, right? We become un unmotivated. We lose momentum. And we want to just re-inspire you guys not to quit. No matter how many times you guys have failed in the past with other things, your past does not have to dictate your future. And a perfect example would be yesterday when I was on the golf course. I thought I was having a good day uh, on the first nine holes. So on the front nine, I ended up shooting a 38. Okay, so nine hole par, uh, 36 is even. I shot a 38, so I shot two over, which, you know, is actually pretty good. That's really good. The average, the average golfer's handicap is, it about, is about a, I think, a plus 18 or something like that. That's, That's on 18 holes, though, right? I shot plus two on nine holes. But on the back nine, I completely fell apart. I was like probably, I hate to admit, like 12 over par or something like that. I think I was even worse. Um, and I completely fell apart. You know, I had momentum. I was playing well. I had all this confidence. And I went into the back nine and I completely fell flat on my face. Right. And just like golf, just like sports, that's going to happen in business. Is it going to keep me from playing golf again? No, I'm going to go play maybe today, maybe tomorrow. But just because I had a bad day yesterday, that doesn't mean I'm going to have a bad day today. And again, I had the first nine holes were amazing. But the back nine, I, I fell apart for whatever reason. I have no idea what happened in the mechanics, in my swing. I couldn't diagnose it. I couldn't figure it out. And sometimes in your business, you guys, you're going to run into the same problems. You're going to be on the ball. You're going to be productive. You're going to be taking massive action. You're going to be gaining momentum. You're going to be getting results. And then out of nowhere, you're going to collapse and you're going to have a bad day. But the key is, is to not follow up a bad day with another bad day and do your best to avoid that. Again, it'll probably happen. You might have a, just a bad week. But don't let a bad week in your business keep you from success because it will happen. We all we all have it happen to us. You know, you watch a lot of gurus online and all you see is their success. All they share is their success, how they're making hundreds, thousands of dollars a day. It seems like they never make mistakes, you know. And the reason why they don't show that kind of stuff is because it's not sexy. It doesn't get the clicks. It doesn't get the views. It might not even get as many buyers. But the truth is, is I've had many more failures than successes when it comes to running ads, when it comes to YouTube videos. I'm sure that probably 90% of my videos, you know, they get you know, at this stage, right, because I've, I've built up a subscriber base, they get like right around one to 2000 views. But probably three videos out of like 500 that I have have over 100,000 views. So what does that tell you? It means that you need to be consistent in your business. And you shouldn't be that person that's trying to find a needle in a haystack. Okay, you win with consistency and you win with a lot of action, a lot of content, a lot of goodwill. And some of that content might absolutely suck, but some of that content will be amazing. It'll be, it'll convert. It'll, it will, you know, move people and cause them to, you know, follow you even further, subscribe to your channel, buy your products. And those are the videos that we want to focus on. Those are the, the videos that we want to model off of or the pieces of content that we want to model off of. But if we never put those videos out there, we would have never gotten those results. So you need to understand that you're going to have some good content, bad content. You're going to have some good emails. You're going to have some bad emails. You're going to have some good days. And you're going to have some bad days. You're going to feel tired. You're going to feel lazy. You're going to feel like you don't want to do anything. And sometimes you won't do anything. 
but you also need to push yourself to get the things done that you don't want to get done. Okay. So it's, it's all about progress. So stop, you know, thinking that you need to have success right off the bat. Stop thinking that because you've had success, you're just going to continue to have success every single day, right? You're going to have those bad days, but don't let the bad days keep you from, you know, succeeding and keep you from having those potential good days that are in your future as well. So I just wanted to share that short story with you guys to just jump on camera and inspire you guys to keep going for your dreams. We're all in this together. We support you. I love the people that are in the video challenge right now that are actually taking action on it. I think we have somebody that's like on day 19 or 20, which is amazing. And we don't tell you to do something that we're not doing ourselves. As a matter of fact, me and Brian agreed uh, before this call that we were going to do as many calls as we can, even daily calls like Monday through through Friday. So that's going to be our own goal uh, that we're putting out there to the universe. And so we want you guys to hold us accountable as well. So even though we're coaches, we also remain students as well. So again, we're not going to tell you to do something and do something completely different because we realize the power of impressions and, and putting yourself in front of your audience consistently, consistently, regardless of the good or bad days. So I hope you guys got value from this. You know, g give me some likes, give me some hearts if you're getting some value from this. Um, I'm sure Brian has many examples too in his life of where he's felt like he was on top of the world and then completely crumbled and was like, what the hell just happened? What changed? And you try and diagnose it. And sometimes you just can't and you just let it be. Yeah. Right. That's one of the most important things though, Josh, that you just said there is you just have to let it be because whatever you focus on guys expands. And a lot of people get caught up in the negative thoughts or the negative you know, events that are happening to them in that current day. And they put their attention on those negative things. And what happens is those negative things start to expand and then you become anxious and, and you get anxiety and, and you get mental blocks and you stop taking action and you actually start going in the opposite direction. And so, you know, at the beginning of this call, Josh talked about ebbs and flows, and these are actual physical laws of life and the laws of nature and how life works. I mean, you look at the seasons that we go through, we go through summer, we go through through fall, we go through winter and we go through through spring, guys. So you always have to remember that there's always a season for sowing and there's always a season for reaping. And you can never reap without sowing, guys. So there's always going to be a period in your business that you're going to be taking action every single day. And you may not see the results immediately. You may not get immediate feedback from your audience and you may not even sell anything immediately in your business. But the important part is remember that those daily actions that you take in your business, whether it's good days or bad days, even if you don't see an immediate result, guys, in the future, when that season comes around to start uh, reaping, guys, you're going to start reaping big. So what you do in the off season, what you do when you're not seeing results right now in your business, the actions that you take will always have a reaction, guys. It's just the law of physics. You know, every action has a reaction. The more actions you take in the right direction, the more reactions you're going to cause in that, that season of reaping, guys. And so you just have to stay consistent through those dark times in your business, in your life. We all understand, guys, we're human. So like for, for you to think that all of these people who have huge success, you know, in the online space or in, in any space for that matter, if you don't think they have, you know, personal shit going on in their lives, you don't think they have shit going on in their business, you don't think they're facing extreme obstacles every day, then they're lying to you if they're telling you that they're not because Josh and I go through it every day. We go through days where we don't see any results from the actions that we are taking in our business. And like Josh says, a lot of times, 80% of the things that we test, they fail, but the 20% of things that we do are what build our business and are what we see the success with. So just remember guys, like 80% of your actions are going to produce, you know, a little bit of success, but it's that 20% guys that, that really makes the difference. And you just have to, you know, stay consistent and you just have to keep putting in the work guys. And I promise you, you'll start reaping. Mm -hmm. And now's the time to do that. You know, we, we love seeing all of you guys who are taking action in the 30 day challenge. And even if you didn't start on the first day and you're just watching this right now, go start the 30 day challenge, guys, you should be doing this no matter where you're at in your business. 
there's like Josh said, it doesn't matter how much success you have. You know, last time I was out playing um, golf with Josh, I was having a terrible, not just one day, but four days. And just like Josh said to me on the golf course, you rent your golf score, just like you rent your success, right? Success is rented. It's not permanent. It's not something that you create one day and it will, and then you never have to do anything again. You always have to stay consistent guys, because you know, success will be there as long as you continue to show up in your business, but it will disappear just as quickly as you disappear in your business. So if you miss one day of taking actions, guys, you know, one day can, can, can take you a couple steps further. And then another day of not taking action can take you 10 steps back. So it's just important to show yeah. up even in a small way. I'm not saying that you have to put hours and hours a day into your business. If you have that time, you have that commitment, then that's awesome. But, you know, it's just showing up and, and doing those little things each day in your business that will turn into big results in the end. So that's all I really have to say, Josh, uh, when it comes to the ebbs and flows. what you said, man. You pretty much just described the law of delayed gratification because you don't realize the actions that you take in the dark times are actually what's creating success. Because I notice when I'm taking action in the good times, those actions aren't actually the actions that made me money in the first place. It's the actions that I took previously that I thought weren't even working. Yeah. Then I, I, I realized like I'll go back and look at videos from three months ago. And it was those videos that are producing results for me today. And so that's what you guys need to understand when you're not producing results in your business, when you're struggling, when you're failing, it's, you're not actually failing. You just don't understand the law of delayed gratification and myself and Brian even go through this. But like, this is interesting. Like these, these leads should be converting. These leads should be buying X, Y, Z product, but they're not quite yet. And we forget that law and that law. I mean, if you've done research on anything online, for example, this morning, I've been looking at uh, gaming computers to set up for like live streaming because I want to integrate my affiliate marketing business with live streaming and like teach people entrepreneurship while I'm while I'm live streaming and kind of adding that entertainment factor, right? And I was looking at these different computers where you can like build a computer from scratch. You can buy a pre-built computer, the, the cost between each, the pros and cons. And I go to, you know, some YouTube channels where these guys had paid sponsorships to promote certain products. So it made me think, do they even use these gaming PCs or did they just get it from, you know, like uh, HP, Hewlett Packard, because they had a big following and Hewlett Packard wants them to promote it on their channel. So once that video is over, do they just send that computer back to Hewlett Packard or do they actually believe in that product and are they, are they using it? And so I started going through this research cycle where I'm like, okay, I might trust this guy. No, I don't think I trust him. Oh, I trust this company. I don't. So you start going through down this rabbit hole and, and you realize you know, from a marketer's perspective, you start to understand as a consumer that it takes time for people to go through the buying process and build know, like, and trust. And that's one of the great reasons why we're doing these consistent lives for you guys is so we can show you, number one, that we are legitimate. Number two, that in hopes at some point you decide to purchase our products or services and worst case scenario, if not, at least we're impacting you in some sort of way, right? And so it's it's uh, a win-win regardless of what happens. So with that understanding, you guys, don't forget that what you're doing right now will make you money. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Keep chipping away at it. Keep plugging into our community, okay? So um, thanks, guys, for jumping on this quick call. Uh, if you guys got value from this, give us some likes, give us some hearts. And if you want to book a call to speak with ourselves or one of our certified coaches, and you want to dive deeper into the affiliate marketing business model, maybe you want to scale your business, maybe you want to start your business the right way, we can definitely show you how to do that. Uh, there's going to be a link on this video if you're watching the recording. You can go ahead and just type that link in the browser. There might be a link above this video or below it as well. Go ahead, that, you can go ahead and click that link and it'll tell you a little bit more about what we have going on, how you can literally model what we've done in our business to have success and instantly deploy that in your life, in your business, regardless of your experience level. So if you like the sound of that, go ahead and check it out. But without further ado, appreciate you guys for jumping on this live. 
and we will see you in the next one.